Hey, it's Old Man Coffee. Thank you very much for returning to my channel. I appreciate that very much. Thanks for clicking. I am back in the desert. Actually, I'm back south of Quartzsite at the Roadrunner BLM 14-day free camping campground. It's about six miles south of Quartzsite, just off of the La Paz Valley Road turnoff of Highway 95 south of Quartzsite. I've been here for a few days, and you know, the wind has really been blowing here. So I haven't been able to get outside and do any video until this morning. And there is something about the mornings in the desert that I just really enjoy. I think it's going to turn out to be a real nice day. I'm really going to enjoy this day. So what do you say we put the drone up in the air and give you an idea of where I'm at? As you can see by that drone footage, there's not many people around where I'm at right now. So a lot of people ask me if I have cell phone reception out here in the desert. Well, with today's technology, yeah, pretty much you're going to have cell phone reception just about anywhere in the desert. There are a few places where you can get out where the reception is not so great, but in the long run mostly you're going to be able to have cell phone reception. Now they also ask, well how does that work with your computer? Do you, uh, are you able to use your computer? Well I'm going to do the best I can to explain to you the system that I use to keep the computer going so I have access to the internet and my Roku TVs. I have two Roku TVs, one in the living room and one in the bedroom. But uh, the best way for me to do that is to go inside the RV and uh, explain that to you. So let's get back in the RV 
and I'll try to do the best I can to explain how I have the internet and how it works for me in my RV while I'm traveling. I have a visible phone. I know it's I know what you mean. <laughs> yeah, it's visible. Yeah, you can see it. Well, if you look at visible.com, there's a link in the description below. They use the Verizon network in the visible phones. And I'm able to actually get unlimited everything through my phone. That's talk, messaging, and data for $25 a month. Unlimited. Unlimited. When I bought the phone, the phone cost me like $19. I think they're up to around, I think I can get them for about $49 right now. Uh, and actually, if you have a phone that's compatible with the uh, visible uh, card, the SIM card, then, uh, and here's a list here, you can go to the website and it get dropped down here. Gives you the list of the uh, phones that are available uh, to be used with the uh, visible SIM card. And then you don't have to purchase a phone. You can just use your own phone. And you can keep your phone number if you'd like to. Now you probably want to know how I get the $25 a month. Well, the phone costs $40 a month for, uh, well, the service costs $40 a month for unlimited. And then you can join a party. Now it's not like you think it is. It's not a, no one knows your phone number. No one knows who anybody is. Now I created my own party, which was a lot easier than trying to join a party. It seemed like every time I tried to join a party, they were full. Uh, there's only four people allowed, so if you create one, then that's only three more people, and they fill up really quick. So I just created my own party, and got three people to join up, and every month, this is what my monthly statement looks like. It gets break down. So if I see that uh, I'm not going to be paying $25 for the next month's service, or for the, because you always pay ahead, you're always paying prepaying, then uh, then I'll go in and I'll uh, find out if I have a space available, which I would at that point, and then I would have people come in and uh, join my party. They they it fills up really really fast. And like I said, no one knows who the other person is. There's no changing of phone numbers, exchanging anything. Nobody knows anything. So it's very secure. And I've never had any problem with it at all. Now, Visible only allows one device connected to your phone at one time into that SIM card into the system. So I had to get a router. Now, my router is a Hutu. I'll show you what it looks like and how I've got it mounted. Now this is my router, and you can see where the blue light is, that shows that the router is active, and the white light next to it shows that it's actually working. And here's the phone right here. This is my visible phone that I, I bought from Visible for like 19 bucks, something like that. You can use any router you want. There's a lot of travel routers out there. They're all different prices and everything. Uh, here's a real good one here that I found at... Um, Amazon for my whatever that is. I don't know how much it is. I think it's $39 or something like that or $29. But anyway, um, that router will work great with this phone and then you can hook up multiple devices. I have my computer, I have a Roku TV, and then I have another uh, smart TV in the in the bedroom. So also I have a Chromecast and they all are routed through that router so they're all connected to that router and they all work very well very well so it uh, really depends on the range you have with your phone and the strength of the Wi-Fi connection and the uh, uh, you can actually tether some of those uh, I just use the uh, hotspot function on my phone but as a hotspot and then you get a router it tells you how to hook it all up and you can be anywhere and have uh, have all the uh, gadgets working that you need. But I think once you get to looking at the visible phone and the party and go to Amazon, look for the routers, things like that, you'll be able to figure it out.
I've got a lot of uh, intelligent people watching my channel, so that's, I'm not worried about you guys. Again, I want to thank all of the supporters of my channel. They're right here. Without them, I wouldn't be out here in the desert all by myself, uh, enjoying the, the freedom that I have. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I appreciate it if you subscribe. It really helps out the channel quite a bit. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them for me. I'll do the best I can to answer all the comments and the questions. So this would be Old Man Coffee saying, I'll see you next time, probably from the desert. <laughs>